Good morning, all you beautiful people. Happy Saturday morning. Just wanted to share something with you guys that uh, kind of came to me uh, as I was walking my dog around the track today uh, in my devotion. So I'm walking Percy, uh, our beautiful pit bull, around the track, just kind of a routine of ours, and he's got all this area to run. Tons of acres all around, got him off his leash, total freedom. And there's one spot I don't want him to go. And where does he go? He starts running towards that one little clearing to get out of the protected area. There's another dog there. It could have caused some problems. Now, thankfully, I said, Percy, come back, and he did. Um, but it got me thinking as I continued to walk around the track um, how often God does that to us. We have all the acreage in the world. We have all the freedom, love, and wisdom from a loving creator that tells us, hey, you know, go down this road. Don't go over there because it's not good for you. Um, and I want what's best for you. And we're like, you know what? I want to go through that one little hole over there because I think that's what will make me happier. The world tells me. And God's like, no, I want to protect you. Um, so it was just something that came uh, to me uh, in my devotions and, and as I was walking this morning. Then I came home, I started reading the Bible, and in the last verse, uh, verse 25 of Judges, chapter 21, it says that Israel had no king and they all did as they saw fit. And it kind of tied into what I was thinking with Percy and the little part of the fence that he was trying to get out of is, you know, a lot of times Christians in America, we try to just do what we see fit. Hey, I know God tells me not to go here. I know God tells me, don't do that. It's going to hurt you. And we're like, no, I want, I want to go through that clearing. Um, I know there's something better over there. And Adam and Eve did the same thing. You know, they had the whole Garden of Eden. And then God said, you know what? Don't touch that one tree. There's trees, there's bushes, everything all over. But don't touch that one thing. And we're like, no, I got to have that one thing. So I just want to encourage you that God has the best for you. He doesn't want to harm your fun or harm your blessings. He actually wants to do the opposite and give you blessings in your life through wise choices and things that will benefit you day over day. So let's not choose uh, the negative things, the foolish things of this world, but let's look to God and his wisdom and follow that. Thank you guys. Have a great day.